Now, I love Pontypridd as much as the next person. Um, I used to live up there on a hill somewhere uh, in the Garig. Uh But I have been wondering recently what happened. What would happen if uh, it was perhaps flooded completely and completely under water? So, the question is, what if there was a 10 metre dam down in Hawthorne or True Forest Industrial Estate? Uh, what would happen to Pontypridd then? How how wet would it get there? So uh, what I've got here, I've got some lidar. I think this is from Welsh Government, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's a 2.5 metre uh, resolution. So let's have a look down here. So we start for a sec. How about one coming from sort of round here to the other side of the valley? That would probably be a good position for a dam. So let's look at the height of this playing field here, 62 metres. Mm, let's go a bit lower down actually. Let's go this playing field. Yeah, uh, this one. 51 meters. So, a dam above that, let's say 60, let's say 60 meters. 60 meter high dam. Uh, sorry, 10 meters. So 10 plus plus the 50 uh, would be 60. Mm, let's take that 60 from here. Actually, let's take that 60. So 60 plus a 10 meter would be 70. So above the terrain it's going to be 10 meters but from sea level it's going to be 60 meters because we're adding it on top so our new dam when we make our new layer is going to have to be 60 meters from sea level to the top of the dam so let's make our new dam layer shape file polygon let's have a new thing height and that's going to be a number okay let's call that dam no, not that spelling of dam. <coughs> With uh, no N. Right, so we're going to make a 60 meter dam. Let's do this. I'm going to make it, let's make it dam shaped. Why not? Uh, so like something like this, maybe. What was it? 60, 60 meters high. So that's 60 meters above sea level, but the ground there was. Oh, I said 70. I said 70. Ah, it's going to be 60 above ground level now. It's just how it's going to be. I could change it, I suppose. Yeah, let's see. 70, 70 meters above sea level. Let's try it. Hello, why have I got two now? No, I only want one. You'd have to think, no way. Now it's gone. Now it's Today is not my day. Right, there is our dam. So it's going to be 70 metres above sea level. Let's now turn this into a raster. So we're going to rasterize it. Uh, resolution is 2.5. We want it to be the same extent as our LiDAR. Dam height, yep, that's all good. Run. So this has created a new layer which is on top, which should be the exact same size as our LiDAR. Near enough. Well, it is exactly the same. Can't see our dam, but if we... There we go. It's there, it's just kind of invisible. Now what we need to do, we need to add these two layers together, the, the LiDAR and our new dam. So we're going to use the raster calculator and the formula we're going to use is if the LiDAR is greater than or equal to our dam height so that's going to return a 1 then we're going to do 1 times by the LiDAR height which is just going to return the LiDAR height if not we're going to say if the rasterized is bigger than the LiDAR that's going to return a 1 then, and if the rasterize is bigger than LiDAR um, then that's going to be a 1, therefore the other statement is going to be 0, so 0 times the LiDAR is, is uh, well it's 0, plus the, the rasterized height, so we're obviously going to get the rasterized there. Sorry, it's a slightly complex, it does make sense, sorry. <laughs> Uh, where are we 
going to save this. We're going to save it in the same place, aren't we? <coughs> uh, new lighter. I want that in British National Grid. Go! One day. One day. Looks good. Switch off our old LiDAR stuff, and if we look down here, you can see the ghostly shadow of our new dam cutting through some houses and disappearing off. Let's uh, let's do a hillshade. There's our new dam there. Lovely. Right. So let's pop it back on on single band. Uh, whatever, min max. The shade. So what we want now is we want to pour water in behind this dam because we want to fill it up. So we need to have the water to a height that's slightly lower than the dam, otherwise it's just going to flood both sides. Um, so our dam was, what was it, 70 meters high? Double check, 70 meters. So let's say 69 meters above sea level is how high we're going to flood. So let's make a new point. Number. Okay. Uh, so let's pop our flood in. Let's go here. It's the taff, and it's going to go to a height of 69 meters, just below one meter below the dam. Well, top of the dam. Oops. Click twice. Save. Okay. So we do the same. Sorry, the same thing again. Almost. We rasterize it. This time we want flood. 2.5, 2.5, match the, oh, sorry, wrong button, not that, match the LIDAR, yep, 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 and go. So, again, looks black, but there should be, if we set the max to, well, 69, there should be a little spot, it's very difficult to see. Uh, where is this bot? Where should it be? It should be there. Let's uh, switch that on so we can tell. I'm telling you there's a spot there. Hmm. Maybe there isn't. Have I broken it? We shall see. Hang on. Let's have a look at our spot again. Ah, oh, it is there. Yeah, there it is. It's back. Right. So that's our spot, which is where the water's going to pour in from. This is our new terrain model. So what we're going to do now, we're going to use the Saga tool in here, and it's called Lake Flood. Now, I have already used it, but I'm going to find it anyway. There it is. Lake Flood. So our DEM, that's our elevation model, we're going to use our new LiDAR, that's the one with the dam. The seeds, uh, that is, oh I should rename these properly shouldn't I, because that one is flood, that one, well we finished that one, we can go flood. DM is new LiDAR, seeds is flood, yes it's absolute. You could set that as how high above the ground it would be, but absolute means from, from zero, from sea level. Uh, go. Yeah, whatever. Could take a little while. Got my cup of tea. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Or possibly not. Right. It's looking distinctly moist down there. Hmm. Now we've got as well, so we've got our new digital elevation model, which has just been created, which includes the new flooded area, which as you can see, Pontypreeth is looking quite damp now. Switch all this other stuff off. Looking quite damp, there's a, uh, oh this must be an old LiDAR because there's a uh, Brown Lennox building, so that's now Sainsbury's. 
Oh, it's looking very wet, isn't it? All the way into Kilvanath. <laughs> Whoops. So, that's one of the things we've got. We've got our new digital service model, and we've also got what the bottom of the lake would look like. So let's give that a nice colour. Uh, oh, that says zero as a transparency. So let's put that maybe a nice blue. Yeah, why not? That looks good. And put our surface back on. Oh, let's make that slightly transparent. So it looks like we're looking through. through some water. Let's make this transparent too. So we can see the satellites. Mm, maybe not like that. Let's put an overlay. <laughs> right. So, let's hide all that stuff so all we can see is that. It's looking very damp, isn't it? <laughs> so the darker blue areas are, are areas of deeper water, uh, and as you can see, obviously the taff is, is lower down because it's in a, in a little valley, um, so it has deeper water there. The uh, the lighter areas are shallower water, so the bottom of the graveyard looks like it's uh, quite shallow there. Uh, oh, the college has just escaped, sorry, university. Tram sheds are looking a bit moist. Uh, has main campus looking quite dry. It's not too bad. Some of the uh, the bottom gate there is looking a bit wet, but not too bad. Oh, the allotments there underwater. Oh dear. Some other trees just poking their uh, poking their branches through. Oh, what else have we got? Ah, see now my house up here. That's escaped. That's good. But uh, and it's in Red Park. That's uh, that's looking quite damp as well, isn't it? Oh, the tops of the houses over here—they're uh, just poking out. <coughs> Let's get our layer panel back. So anyway, that's. Uh, it's a bit fun, isn't it? It's uh, not a particularly serious or uh, analytical use of uh, of the software, but it's uh, it's a bit of a laugh, isn't it? Well, probably not for the people who live there anymore. They're uh, they're a bit wet now. But that's what happens if you put a uh, ten meter high dam down in uh, in Hawthorne. It all gets a bit wet upstream. <laughs> <laughs> 